Alright guys, welcome back to Chrono Trigger. We are now on part 25. Now that we have completed all of the uh, endgame quests, well, let's go ahead and check with Gaspar to make sure I didn't miss anything. He will always say that, regardless of um, what quests have been completed, uh, with a, one of you as close to someone in peril. Um, it's speculated that they're referring to uh, Magus and the uh, and Queen Zeal, who is currently at the top of the Black Omen. Alright, so let's go ahead now and start the Black Omen infiltration. So we'll go ahead and go to the Black Omen of 1000 AD. Because you can actually, uh, like I said before, you can face the Black Omen in multiple time periods. Uh, the time period you use, or regardless of which time period you enter the Black Omen from, it will affect the other two time periods you can access it in. So, uh, if we kill, if we had killed the mutant here in uh, 1000 AD, it would remain dead in 600 and uh, 12,000 BC. And these guys are just like the guy or the shield enemies back at. Uh, back at Guardia Castle, and that you, if you try to attack them while they're up, or while their shields are up, they take little to no damage. But once their shields are down, they get one shot. All right, so we've got all of Luca's text. So let's go ahead and start working on Marl. Probably get Chrono these gold stud back. Especially since we're just going to be spamming Luminaire throughout the majority of this, uh, throughout the majority of the, the dungeon. Uh, come here, Luca. Oh, well, that's awkward. This is 
probably should have grabbed those cousin helms. Well, at least Maul has hers. Robo's mass attack is he doesn't really have a high damage output in terms of magic. He's mostly a physical attacker. Convenient save point is convenient. So the panels here are basically enemies. They cast a missile attack that can deal a decent amount of damage, but they're not really that harmful because Luminaire pretty much wipes them out. Most of them. And remember, laser type attacks are considered shadow damage, so. Equipping shadow absorbing armor means that they can't hurt you. Go ahead and 
So these guys are the rubbles of the uh, of the world or of the black element. Um, the boss orb is what deal is what locks you, but the sidekicks are what actually give you the um, are what actually give you the tech points. So you have to break them in order to get the tech points. Because if you kill the boss orb first, the sidekicks run away. The problem is, the boss orb has a very powerful area attack that it does every round. So you need to work quickly. And of course, the sidekicks have... The sidekicks have very high evasion, and they like to run away. Like that. And of course, since we're, we are locked from using items, Robo will not be able to get any of the experience or tech points from this. But they give you potentially a lot. I think it's because his magic defense is so low is what's causing him to take so much damage. Right, so let's try this again. It's probably a fire-based attack, so we'll try giving him the, the fire. We'll try giving him fire armor next, see if that does anything. You stop that! remaining to learn are Magus and uh, Magus, Robo, and Marl. So that's good. Oh, whoops, I've got to give him the fire armor. Oh well. points out of this. There's one a little later on that is two boss orbs and four sidekicks. That one's a rough fight. Especially if you're trying to get the full... Um... No, nope, that ain't happening. Oh, and Robo's dead. Alright, 
Now we have mutants. And Robo just takes damage. It's nice to be able to deal damage without being locked. They took some damage. Yeah, these guys are weak and physical, so they have a higher magic defense. The Black Omen has a ton of enemies that require different strategies to beat, and it likes to mix them up every so often. But the rewards are very nice, so if you can take the time to clean out the Black Omen three times, definitely do so. we have an elevator segment just like back at the Ocean Palace. Now be careful about these guys. These guys can be pretty lethal. You want to kill them very quickly. They have a high defense, and their physical attack deals quite a bit of damage. And they like eating them. In case you're wondering, there is an encounter both for the descent and ascent of the elevator. But we're not going back up.
she will have life two on her next battle. And let's try giving Robo the red mail, see if that gets him some survivability. So, Lifeline is basically re-raise. Uh, when a character dies, it auto-revives them. Not the most useful. It is a fire-based attack. Good to know. So this at least means that Robo is now going to survive. Now Frog is not. That's kind of annoying. Exactly. I never did go and raid the chest from Guardian Castle to get the fire, uh, the fire vest or the red vest. Probably should have done that. Oh. Well. So,
The goal right now is to basically learn all of the dual and triple techs as we max out everyone's, um, as we uh, start learning all the remaining techs that still have not been obtained yet. Like I said, Chrono has a triple tech with every one of the main six. With the exception, or, or the only characters that Chrono does not have triple techs with is with Magus. Uh, and Magus can only have triple techs with um, Luca and Robo, or Luca and Marl. actually killed both of the sidekicks and it was with a party that had already had all that max tax. back in the party. And also heal off just to be safe. One for Robo. And that's it. So we just need to get Robo in the party until he learns his next uh, technique. 
I think he, actually, I think his final technique that is the final dual tech for him. Alright, and... We'll also get Mages in the party, because he's the only one who still has techniques to learn. to the Black Omen we go. Hey, a very convenient save point. And there are some news. And he sells some very nice but very expensive stuff. Uh, the Hyper Ether basically is a full MP restore. Uh, you're better off just getting full ethers because 60 MP... Uh, it is pretty much going to be just as good as a full restore because the maximum MP you can have is 99. Uh, let's see, let's get some full tonics. So, what that is, is if you t choose to wake up, it takes you out of the Black Omen. It's basically a teleport back to the, uh, Back to the epic. Alright, so... We're gonna go ahead and shelter and save. I'm gonna take a quick break, and when I get back, we will finish out the Black Omen. So see you guys in a little bit.